So what are we doing here, uh, hon? We are gonna let me do the flipping today. That's right. So we sometimes get comments from people saying that it would be very difficult for them to do what Jason does uh, in terms of physically. And I agree that if you had arthritis or if you were, um, if you had some sort of disability or anything like that, it would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of wondered, you know, if I didn't, uh, if Jason weren't doing this, would I be able to do it? And I'm not a hundred percent sure. So we're going to do a test today and see if I can do the compost flip by myself. How hard is it? How does it make me feel? Can I get through the whole thing? And how long does it take me? Right. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really I'm excited. I'm super excited. And I made her swear that she's not going to bury herself doing this. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt this. If you get, myself. Yeah, if it's just too much, then... On purpose. Um, yeah, we'll figure something else out. But, okay, are you uh, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, it's going to be steamy too, I think. It's so. going to be steamy. Okay, yeah. we'll, okay. Uh, we'll come in with some uh, check-ins and uh, then wrap it up at the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then I just take everything off as I want to put it back on. So basically, I just take all the wood off first. Where do you put it? Just, I throw it down there. And then as long as I'm piling stuff on top of it, then it, it just all goes back on. So. Okay. I can't reach. That's fine. Oh, look at that. You get any? I got a worm. Oh no, then stop squeezing. Okay, interesting. Now, can you do it two hands? Like, do two hands and I really. I do it without a worm. Right. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, so you can do the squeeze test. Okay. So we know we know, don't need to add any water, right? Yeah, obviously. Tons, tons, tons of, water of water in there. Okay, so. now what? So I think if I was doing this for real by myself, I'd stop here, take a break, maybe come back in a couple hours and then carry on. But for the sake of the experiment, I'll just keep going. What's happening, babe? Just talking. Not lift your arms as high. Tons of moisture. Can you do two hands? Interesting. You didn't get it. It could have been a different piece though too. That's great, babe. Are you happy with that? Yeah. I did it all by myself. 
by myself. Well done. Yeah. Well done. And it did How not. How long did it take? It was about a half an hour, but that's okay. that's pretty darn quick, especially because I was pulling you off to do other things. So. Not that often, but uh, okay. Some just initial observations. Yeah. Number one, uh, I took very small chunks out of there, mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like when I'm walking, like I have I have shorter steps, so I have to go faster. So if I wanted to beat or get close to Jason's time, I would have to go really, 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 really fast. But then I didn't have to do the bouncy thing either because my right. scoops were so small. Right. Um, I was worried about the height of this. I didn't think I'd be able to get it up and over, but with smaller, because this is a light tool. It's not heavy. So, um, you know, with just a little skim of that on the top. And a half an hour is not bad. No. And after I had that small meltdown at the beginning, it's like when I exercise, not that I exercise ever, but if I have to do something like walk, the first half an hour of walking is I'm crying and then I get over it and I'm fine. So I did, once I kind of took that little whiny break, then I was fine and I could finish the rest and I didn't really feel like I was going to be, right. I hurt myself. Now I do have um, like back problems from a twisted pelvis so i was very mindful of my pelvic floor mm -hmm. um also my bra strap is not on tight enough and it kept falling down so you got to strap yourself in if you're going to be doing this or no bra or no bra it's perfect also a perfect. thing um and Fixed then <laughs> and then the big thing though was the squeeze test my inability to squeeze water from the compost when jason could I don't know. We're going to have to think about that because if I have no, apparently no hand strength or I couldn't get a big enough piece in my hand to be mm. able to do. Plus, I also didn't want to get my hands wet. Okay. So I really wasn't, I didn't try that hard. I think we've got a fair division of labor, I think is what we're coming down to. But I mean, if I, you know, if somebody wanted to do it by themselves and they didn't have somebody who could right. do it for them. Right. The other thing I was thinking was if it was my decision about this compost mm -hmm. bay I never would have built something like this no I would have looked at it and said no way that's too big and just never have done it in the first place okay so I think that's actually a good lesson that this isn't too big for someone my size and right. physical abilities um, it is it is something that could be managed I could manage this if I had to I couldn't do the squeeze test but right. whatever I think I could figure something else we, we'll figure something else out. yeah and to be fair I mean not most normal people aren't building piles this big like we brought in we brought in a ton of carbon and well not really any nitrogen well no coffee. we did we brought in coffee coffee so yeah i mean a much smaller pile you don't need as big of a space and it would it would be a lot quicker um as well so you know that it's being turning. said yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's so situational right? I agree. um but i think i would have limited myself I wouldn't have even considered something like this, even if I had the space, because I would look at it and think that's way too big for me. Right. But I don't know that it would be. Right. But, I mean, that being said, you could have never flipped it, and it probably would have turned out to be great compost. Yeah. So it might take a little bit longer, but you know, you definitely don't need to be flipping compost True. every once a week or once a month or or whatever. There's, you can make really good compost by just keep stacking up piles and, and uh, uh, in a couple of years it'll be great. So there's there's all, there's tons of different ways to compost. Mm -hmm. So, um, but pretty stoked that you did it. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. High five. Oh yeah, watch out. <laughs> so okay. stay awesome everyone. Yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe don't limit yourself if you think it might be possible. Maybe try it because. Yeah. yeah. The only way you can fail compost is not to start. That's so, true. Um, yeah, just build a pile and it'll be, it'll be, eventually it'll be really good. So, all right. Thanks, honey. On to the next thing? On to the next thing. Let's go. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome. Mm, high five. Uh. Not much steam on that one. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I could see it. <laughs> Thank you.